Well, hello again. I have the day off today, so I thought I'd do some things on the Ranger. I uh, Yesterday I ordered the MMA two and a half inch lift kit so we can lift this. It's not here yet, but uh, probably be here in a couple days. So we can lift it up a couple inches and then the doors won't hit the sides of the trailer. But in the meantime, I've ordered the top of the roof. As you recall, we've been missing that piece. So I've ordered it in and it came in. So here's the top. Let's pull that out. So one of the things you see first is there are one, two, three, four, five holes that this thing snaps up into. <clears throat> well, guess where those five holes are? They are up here. So, in order to get to that and secure that top, we got to pull out the soundbar. That's why I have left the uh, roof unsealed up in here because I knew this was gonna require to come off. So, we're gonna have to come up, take that soundbar off, insert everything, or insert the roof liner, button up everything, and then uh, <clears throat> put the soundbar again back in. Yeah, it doesn't sound fun. I don't know if there's an easier way, if I could just tuck it up underneath there. I don't know, I'm gonna look. Anyway, that's what we're gonna do today. First thing I'm gonna do is use my roof proper upper tool to make some room for us. So we can see what we got. Easy if that soundbar wasn't there, but it is. All right, I indeed need to take this off. If I remember right, this thing was a little heavy too. So, we'll see what we can do without causing any damage. Hot in the garage again today. What a cow, it's hot in here. Alrighty, I think I've got enough done to try to put this roof liner up. It's gonna be tricky because I'm used to putting things together without this roof liner in there. Well, let's see how it goes. Okay, just finished putting this in. So, I think we're ready to put this, the soundbar back in. And uh, it's gonna be a little bit tricky, but we can do it. And then I gotta decide what to do with the roof, if I wanna seal that this weekend or not. Let's go one step at a time and put the soundbar in. Just a string along the way. Okay, here's what we know. These get connected above 
that roof. Holy cow. Okay, I think I've connected everything that needs to be connected. I want to test it and then probably try to put this roof back on. I still haven't decided how I want to seal that. They did have a weather stripping seal in, but from what I've read, they're notorious for leaking. And I was going to seal it up, but I'm having second thoughts about that. I'll noodle on it. We're just testing the speaker, it all works. So that's good news. Okay, I think we're done with the uh, interior roof liner. Let me show you what it looks like. Here's what it looks like in the daylight. All buttoned up. And then I put the roof on. The only thing I need to do on the roof is seal that joint. Well, good morning, it's Saturday, and we're gonna seal the roof today. I think we're at that point where we can seal it and cross our fingers that it's not going to have to be taken off again. So here's what I'm going to use. Uh, it's probably backwards. Lexel. I looked on some forums and people are saying this is pretty flexible and stuff, so we'll give it a try. It doesn't come in black, so this is it. White or clear from what I can find. Found this at Lowe's. So let's, uh, let's seal the roof. Okay, I couldn't hold the phone and the caulking gun at the same time, but just caulked it with that Lexel, or Lexel, however you spell it. That is interesting product. Boy, is it sticky. Sticks to your fingers, sticks to everything. I think that's what it's marketed to, but I think that'll waterproof everything up here, so we should be good to go. So, roof's officially on. Maybe for the last time. But yeah, I think we'll call that complete. That'll probably end this video. So thanks for watching.